You're watching BTV. Tin, an essential commodity used in our homes, cars, and even our phones. Aloro Resources' flagship Iska Iska project, a silver tin discovery, has the potential to be one of the largest bulk tonnage operations in the world. It's located in an emerging jurisdiction with unlimited promise, Bolivia. I saw a company based out of Vancouver called New Pacific Metals. Uh, they did a brilliant job in coming into Bolivia as an explorer. Their share cap got up to a billion dollars. Now, wh what are they doing? How did they get into Bolivia? I thought Bolivia was sort of a tough place to work. There was no sort of rush into Bolivia from our standpoint. Having seen what New Pacific did and their sponsorship from groups such as BMO, Royal Bank, different firms, we became very interested and that's when Dr. Bill Pearson uh, arranged a meeting with Dr. Oswaldo Arce from Bolivia, and the rest is history. Dr. Arce, formerly the head of the Geological Society of Bolivia, was hired to lead Aloro's exploration team. Not long after, he brought the opportunity of Isca Isca to Tom Larson's attention. Now, after nearly three years of development work, Aloro has finally published its eagerly awaited mineral resource estimate. We outlined 670 million tons of commercial material. That was lower grade, the market sort of initially expected. However, when you zero in on the upper parts of that open pit, and that's what we deem as really the starter pit, the grades produced a really good profit margin in our conceptual model. The tin found at Iska Iska presents a laurel with a unique opportunity. Tin is a very important metal in the world right now in the power industry, and Bolivia is one of the important producers of tin. We have a tin domain where we have a more concentrated tin, so it's very important because in the future this will contribute to the economy of the project. Another feature of Iska Iska that could be attractive to a potential buyer is the project's proximity to key infrastructure. We're very fortunate from a logistics standpoint uh, with the project. We've got road access, we've got rail access, we've got water, hydro, all close by. And that's why our cost per meter at least drilling is so low. With a mineral resource estimate now in hand, Aloro has a clear roadmap in place that will drive the project's next stage of development. We've got close to seven, eight million dollars cash, so we can infill the upper part, that starter pit, and that's what we plan on doing. A lot of the holes that we came out with were 100 meter spacings. You wanna really tighten it up, 50 meter spacings to go to indicated, and you can, chances are, you'll be able to improve your grade, which will give you more margin, profit margin so many other targets that we have close by to this 670 million ton. So we really do want to go deeper towards that tin porphyry, which I think could be exciting from a blue sky standpoint down the road. Aloral now has its sights set on establishing a preliminary economic assessment that can be used to attract a major world-class partner capable of moving their project into commercial production.